Hi everyone, this is Jacob, ship from Philippines Lazada. Today's set of tools is needed to open line slash de-brand or upgrade your Huawei 310AS-398 modem. This is it. This is the latest modem from Globe, which is locked obviously to Globe Network. So, if you want to use this to other networks, then you'll need to update it or open line it so that it is freely available to other sims. So, these are the needed things. Let's start first with the screwdriver. Okay, 2-in-1 screwdriver Philip, which is adjustable in length. Okay, you just have to press this. Okay, by the way, these are this is a set of tools which are which is sold per set so this is very useful as i'll show you later on and of course you need some soldering skills together with your soldering iron this is a 40 watt soldering iron with a stand base okay metal stand base with a sponge or the cleaner for the tip of the soldering iron and next thing is of course your solder tin or soldering lid this is needed to melt and join together the contact points which i will show you later on and lastly this is the most important part this is the usb data cable which is a usb type to your computer and then this is divided into four parts which are called test point pins okay T test point wires these are needed to be soldered to your modem board okay so once you open it with this one you'll need to solder it using these tools and then the next part will be programming it so this is the first part these are the needed tools if you have them then lucky for you if you don't then you could buy at our shop ship from philippines lazada the link to the product is down below the product description so the next thing is establishing a link between your computer and your modem so there this should be used this is the usb line which is composed of four lines which are red white green and black so the purpose of this video is to solder this into your motherboard so before we do that we need to open first the modem using our screwdriver open the uh, screws the two screws on the bottom of the modem okay that's one and that's two so next is clip the screw in reverse so that you'll have the flat type okay because you need to insert this into the gap because this is a clip type lock and you need to insert something here in order to okay unclip the modem so just very simple we, we're just unclipping this okay until you open your modem so let's set this aside first and let me show you what are the important points here so these are the four points one two three four these are called the test points okay so you need to sh solder here the red the white the green and the black okay so let's try and solder that using our soldering iron it is warm already so it is ready okay so let's just put the red one on okay and then 
solder this. It's a bit tricky at first, but I think you need to put some soldering there in all in order for you to have a base. Once you have a base, you'll just need to insert the end of the wires. So just insert that until it goes inside because there's a hole there. Okay? Or if not, you could just tap it on top. Okay, so the next one is the white one. Okay. Let's just clear the line. And next is the green one. Okay, and lastly, the black one. Okay. So make sure that the lines are clear from each other. What I mean by that is remove any wires in between these lines. Okay, so that's ready for the computer uh, process or the computer job or the software part. And this will be connected to your computer. So in the next video, we will uh, turn on the computer and show you how to program this. Okay, thank you for watching. So we have now is our modem connected to a USB cable through our soldering uh, activity earlier. And now we are going to connect this to the laptop on the modem using this cable. But first, let's do a simple procedure of download mode. So to activate that, just short point A to point B. There is a picture on our guide called motherboard soldering. And there is point A and point B. So you need to short that and then connect your power supply. So I've plugged in my power supply. Okay. And this is the end. Let's connect that to the back. And you will see right away there's one light this is a normal mode so let's remove that a little and then short this using our flat screwdriver which we used earlier and then before inserting make sure that it is shorted and to indicate success that's a failure because the light went on there should be no light if you are successfully into download mode. So it might be hard at first, but you will eventually get it like now. I did it. Okay, so we are in download mode. Next thing is to insert our housing for the meantime and then let's connect the cable the LAN cable to our computer and then at the back of your modem so we are now ready to program this modem okay open first device manager on your computer type device manager on your search button there's a device manager and then 
this will guide us through the process together with the unzip program okay files you could see there is no port there in this area okay so once i insert this to a usb port there should be a installation of ports there is huawei mobile connect download port it's using compo 24 okay so that is a success and now we'll proceed to updating and unlocking this modem first click on huawei usb flasher and i will position this here so you could see what's happening to the modem while we're programming okay so basically the lights the power light the connection light the wi-fi light the LAN light and the signal light will guide you through this process and when it, once it is done there is a confirmation press any key to continue so i'm pressing any key and now let's check on our down device manager and we could see that there's a lot of Huawei Mobile Connect ports, including 3G PC UI. Okay, so up to now, that is a success sign. Let's proceed to the next one. So let's go and click Huawei First Unlock. This will unlock your Huawei firmware, so you, we could further introduce some enhancement and updates to it. After this process, we need to restart this modem using a, pro, a technique called unplug unplug the connector port i will show you that later on And now we're done this is your confirmation the question marks and we could exit this now okay so I'm clicking the exit and let us unplug and replug okay that's a restart shortcut We need to wait until the lights turn on. Because we now have a modem which is unlocked but without a UI interface or without a dashboard. And now it is connecting to the computer, to the network and then connecting to the data center or the internet and once connected let's see if there's any port there there's no port okay so that is correct and 
Moving on, let's click Huawei Second Unlock. So what we're going to do here is press 1. Okay. And then press 1 again. So it says that prepare to flash a new firmware. So we're gonna update this, okay? So let's exit this. And click on Huawei Flasher. Basically we are we are on download mode. And it will flash some files before we update. The file we need is firmware update version 11.326, a streamlined firmware with messaging, USSD, and uh, admin rights okay, that you could use, even the network settings for LTE bands. That's finished right now, and press any key to continue. So, when I press that, you need to see your device manager having all the UPC UI interface. So, there's one light here, and that's normal. Let's run now our firmware update. This is the file, okay? And then just double click that. It is now on boot mode. It will write files here, which is basically the update and the new UI interface. Once this is done, you need to restart your modem. Okay, again, to restart, we need to unplug and replug. Let's exit this first and then unplug and replug. So now it will connect to our network and let's enter the UI interface or the uh, if you have Chrome or my Firefox then open that and I'll show you how to check if things are okay so you can see that it is connecting together with the signal okay so I'll be zooming into the program right now so you'll see what is going on on our Chrome
web or web browser. So let's set this aside first and then type in 192.168.8.1 Okay, 192.168.8.1 Enter It may take some tries because it is not yet complete the boot is not yet completed and now it is complete so we go to this page which is called quick quick setup so the default username and password here is admin small caps and also password is admin Next, oops, admin, sorry, admin, and the password is admin. Okay, and it's asking us if we want to modify the password of our modem. So you could do that, Wi-Fi password, if for example you want but later on you could do that as well in the settings so let's just skip that and update configuration turn that to update manually and the current password is of course admin the new password it's up to you but I, I'm just giving you an idea admin123 admin123 okay so that's finished already and now we have a successful modem let's try and check if this modem is successfully uh, program especially the IMAI let's go to settings and then click on system and device information in this tab we could see that the IMEI is complete an error will be full of zeros here so if it that if that case happens just click on IMEI changer just click on that and then press 1 and on below your modem we could see the original IMEI okay just on this part and enter that and then press enter but I wouldn't be changing this for this time because this is already correct and that's about it everyone thank you for watching this is Jake again oh before we go, we have here are the, the Wi-Fi password is here, okay, and the settings for your antenna is on the bottom of the set, and your band or the connection settings, network settings is on the dial-up. If you want to play with this, go ahead. You could reset it anytime you want. And this is about it. Thank you very much for watching.